Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Turn to discuss uh, the precise definition of infinite limits at infinity. In my earlier videos, I, I just did the uh, precise definition of a general limit and also of a limit at infinity or a horizontal asymptote. And now we'll go over this one and I'll show you what I mean in a, in a bit. Basically, the definition states let f be a function defined on some uh, interval from a to infinity. This could be anything, this a. Then, then basically you will have limit. This is how the notation is written. Limit as x approaches infinity of this function f of x is equal to infinity. So basically, it is a limit at infinity or x approaching infinity, and is an infinite limit. You get infin infinity is the limit. And this means that for every positive number m, there is a corresponding positive positive number n, or yeah, so these are both greater than zero, such that you'll have in this case, yeah, you'll have f of x is greater than this m number whenever yeah, whenever x is greater than n right here. And this uh, this definition is pretty straightforward. Uh, it seems abstract, but if you just graph it out, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, so for example, if you were to draw it out right here, just, just a similar function like that that has a limit, as an infinite limit at infinity. So if you just draw this one right here, now if you were to draw a straight line across this, and we'll call this value m. So then this means that at this intersection point for any m value, remember this is greater than zero, uh, then you're gonna have a corresponding n value such that if you were to draw this down here, this would be your n, and that that basically this f of x, if this is f of x, let us draw this, so this is f of x, and now this point, anytime you are to the right of n, or the x is greater than n, you're gonna be in this area here, as you can see this side here, or if you were just to draw like this, so basically f of x is always greater than m in this case. So when you're going to the right of it, it's greater than m, because you're, you're obviously gonna be greater than this line m, and then when you go to the left of it, uh, it's, it could be greater or less, but it doesn't really matter. So basically this means that for any number, so this could be any, I'll just put this in quotation marks. Yeah, so that any number m, so even let's say, I just, Erase this to make it a bit neater. So let's say we had an even higher m value. So as you can see, even if, even if you go from m all the way to infinity, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so let's call this m2. And again, you're going to have a corresponding n value. We're going to be down here, actually. We'll call this n2. But now now all this is, the n is just bigger. So now to the right of this, so this x greater than n2, you're going to have well, f of x is greater than m2, and to the left of it, it's less. So uh, yeah, to the left of it doesn't really matter what, what is to the left, but uh, to the right, it's always greater. So as you can see, yeah, th so that's basically the definition of it. Yeah, and now one last point I want to state is basically you'll, uh, similar definitions or precise definitions, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll get similar when, when the infinity symbols are replaced with negative infinity. So instead of going up like this, you can either go down to negative infinity or you can go to positive infinity at negative infinity as x approaches negative infinity. So there's a lot of ways. You could either go something like this, go down, or, or uh, actually like, like this, go up like that. So you can either go like that or even in this case right here. And then you'll just basically uh, just modify this bottom part here such that this could be either fx is less than m whenever x is greater than n or less than n, etc. So it just all depends on it. It's just really similar to this. Uh, so I'm not going to go over that one right now. But uh, in my next video, I'll go over a, a useful example on this. Uh, well, anyways, that's all for today. Remember, you can always download these notes in the Dropbox link below. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.